Hey, how's it going guys? This is Andres Moretti and today I want to bring you a special video. I want to talk to you about mini chat, messenger bot, uh, Facebook messenger marketing. You probably heard it. You've probably been on Facebook and contacted a business page, maybe a personal page of someone. And you may or may not have noticed that when you click like get started, you know, when you're going to send them a message, you automatically receive an automated messaging with different options to interact with that page, right? You want to reach that business. You want to reach that person. But before that, uh, they want to ask you a couple of questions before actually, you know, personally interacting with you. Well, this system is uh, chatbots. You probably heard it's been very popular this year. But what I really want to talk to you about is if you're not really using it right now in your business, whether you run a local business, you have a personal brand, uh, any kind of Facebook page, anything you're doing on Facebook as far as business or talking to potential customers, if you don't have one, you're really missing out. And let me tell you why. I work a lot with local business owners as we're doing my marketing agency. So right now I'm trying to get as many of them as possible to adapt uh, the chatbot into their to their day to day in their system. Because let me tell you why. I'll pull up a little bit of stats right here so you can see with with me and myself. So check this out. Messenger is a conversation. So there's 1.5 billion people using Messenger right now, and that is huge, right? They're using it to contact with their friends and family or contact with businesses. And if you don't respond immediately, they will go with someone else. I'll give you a scenario. So let's say I'm putting myself in the shoes of a customer, potential, someone's doing business, and you pretty much have been there before, right? Let's say you want, and let's give an example. Let's say you're looking for a barbershop, you're a man, maybe you're looking for a salon if you're a female and you want to look up who's in the area right maybe you, there's one you go to but you want to see if there's who there's any new people in town who you want to go to so you go on google you type in the keywords right and you have a bunch of different businesses pop up more than likely you probably open up one two or three different uh, pages and kind of see what they got right you check out their pictures you see where they're located is it convenient to you and you decide to facebook message them maybe you just want to ask about the pricing before actually picking up the phone and calling them or maybe driving to a location you send them a, a quick message on facebook hey uh are you open or what's the price on like let's say a brazilian blowout or for men what's the price for a men's haircut um and this can work in any industry right let's say i'm looking for a dentist which i work with a lot and i want to ask them you know what's their availability like uh can i schedule an appointment maybe what are, what is the price for maybe cleaning etc right you want to interact with them as you right you see right here it says you know facebook did a poll and the results were that 90 percent of consumers said that they would do business with a company that responded first that's huge and put yourself in those shoes like I'm telling you, let's say you message three businesses three different pages and one doesn't respond maybe it responds a couple days later one takes about an hour and a half to respond and the other one responds right away within 10 to 15 minutes or even five minutes more than likely you have the person who responded within five minutes you have they have your attention right exactly and they start chatting with you and they you decide to book an appointment with them think about it like that if you don't have someone on hand, someone on staff that can respond right away, you're missing out. Like, right, it's like Facebook said right there, you can capture 90% of the market by being the first one to respond 90% of the market. That's a lot of missed opportunity in having new customers, especially in revenue that you can be bringing. You never know that one customer, because you took the time to respond within 5, 10, 15 minutes, you bring you another $200. You know, I'm not sure how much the Brazilian below us are, but just give or, give or take, right? And 56% consumers are more likely to spend money with a company that they can talk first. So this is a big poll that Facebook did. And this is this is kind of the new trend, right? You want to interact with a business first before actually doing business with them. That is how everything works nowadays, right? You have a conversation with a, with a person on the phone, someone on chat within Facebook, as we we're talking about. And that's really huge. So you can really have the advantage with this and be have a chatbot, something that can communicate with your customer right away because you might not have someone on, on hand to respond right away. That is huge. And that brings me to the point of why we're here in this video. I just wanted to brief you a little bit of kind of the overall so you can get a perspective of why it's very important to have a way to respond to your customers right away. With that being said, let me jump right into showing you Minichat. So right here we're on Minichat's homepage. So this is pretty much one of the chatbot or messenger software builders. There's, of course, there's other options out there in the market, but Minichat was the first mover and I find it very easy to use and convenient the way their system works. So just go on the website, you can go check it out. You know, you can create a bot in two minutes without coding, so you definitely don't need any coding experience, nothing like that. It's very, very simple to use. And I'll tell you why you need one in your business or in your personal page. So you can see right here, you can check, and you can come check them out. But let me jump right into the back end once you log in, you have your account. 
So this right here is the back end of mini chat. This is where you can build out your own chat bot. It's very, very simple to use. As you can see right here, this is an example one I use for one of my dental clients that I use. And I like to show them different things that you can do with the chat bot. One of the most important ones comes is the welcome bot. Like I said, someone's looking to you organically through, through Google and they want to interact with your business. So having a welcome bot to be able to respond right away, answers you know, frequently asked questions, you know, what are your availability, what are your times, uh, can I schedule an appointment? You know, what's the pricing like, you know, uh, where are you located? These are very frequently asked questions that we can automate, you know, and save yourself time instead of having, you know, your assistant, uh, you know, send them a message very simple. Like, you know, we're open for this, from this time to this time, you can have the bot just respond right away. And if you have more complex questions, then they can prone to ask someone and you can have, you know, the question answers. And I'll show you right here how it works. So let me demo it for you first before actually before actually showing you how you can build this thing out give me one second so let's i seem to have lost the button where is the butt on here it was the oh wait um, give me a second all right here we go preview all right so right now it's going to start opening up the demo where you can interact with the business so i'm going to go back to my facebook page right here so dental is just one of my company's websites and but this is what i'm going to show you right here so let's say someone lands on the family dental page, right? So I'll, I'll go ahead and open that. Let's say they land on the family dental page and they click send message. You know, they want to they wanna get started, right? And this is what's going to come up. Here's a picture of the staff. Let's say, this is just for example purposes, here's a picture of the staff. It says, you know, hi, address. It's, it's obviously calling out my name. Thanks for visiting family dental. I'm Alex, the dental assistant. What can I help you with today? You know, have different options. You know, make an appointment, new patient, office information. You know, very simple questions. Of course, it's completely customized to meet your practice. But let's say I wanted to, let's have a new patient, right? That's kind of why I'm messaging them. I want more information about new patient uh, stuff, right? So we're glad you scheduled an appointment. So this, this automatically comes out. You decide to schedule your first appointment with us. Can you tell me what exactly you're coming in for? You know, right here, it's a good question. You know, this is a very simple question that you're asking. And right here, I have different options. You know, I automatically see an arrow. And when this is open on the phone, it's a lot more interactive. It's a lot uh, more, it's easier to use. You know, more chances are nine times out of 10, the potential customer or patient who is going to be inquiring is more than likely on their phone because most traffic nowadays is on mobile. So this looks very, very clean on mobile. Of course, it looks clean good on website as well, but more than likely it's on mobile. So here's a different option. You know, general cleaning, a little bit of copy. You know, we offer a little clean to keep your teeth, gums healthy. You know, very standard uh, text. You know, if I want to make an appointment for general cleaning or maybe I can get a coupon. You know, sorry, not a clean to pique my attention. You know, people like uh, deals or anything, but you, know, you can get very creative with this. Uh, teeth whitening, maybe another popular service, right? That you're offering more standard, this is more likely what people are coming from. And then you get into the higher ticket work, that like Invisalign, you know, maybe they want to get their teeth straight. You know, these are just options to start piquing curiosities. Like, oh, they offer Invisalign. You know, I was coming in for a cleaning, but maybe Invisalign could work. Maybe I can ask him when I come in for an appointment, more information. We're keeping the call to action right in front of their face, right here when they're, you know, scrolling through different services. And maybe they don't find anything. You know, it says, are you looking for something else? You know, Sarah, our dental assistant, I click below speak with her, you know, contact Sarah. So when I click talk to Sarah, automatically you can have this uh, software set up where we can ping Sarah through an email or text, you know, something that can uh, pop up a notification and it can be saying, look, Andres is, uh, needs more information, wants a question, get on your Facebook, be on Facebook right away and she can respond very, very quickly. So right here, she'll be notified, Sarah will be momentarily with you and the rest you. Very, very simple and make sure we have someone on, on hand that can answer the question. And then we can also have something more, more creative things like new patient special offer. You know, we can offer them a $79 deal. You know, of course, this is just sound purpose. I mean, 79, of course, that's an offer that is actually, that's actually valid. Of course, you know, this is something that is a real offer that's offered out there in the market, but this is just very, very example purposes. And we can show you, maybe they want to claim this offer. They click claim this offer. You know, I am a new patient. So I, I'm like, this, this works well with me. And then here it says, and that's, we're excited to have you in for your first cleaning. Type your room below so we can send you the coupon right away. So I can type in my email right here, right? And automatically we can have your email saved on your autoresponder. Maybe you have MailChimp or et cetera, something like that. It can automatically you know, be sent to your MailChimp and be in the set of a coupon email. Now you have their email, which is very, very cool right now. You can follow up with them, send them up there about the, up the office, about the practice thing you want. You know? So this is, I was showing you an example of you know, the dental, the dental bot that can be used, which is very, very powerful. You see how this, this is more, that's very powerful, right? Maybe they wanted office information. Let me walk you through this couple of the examples I have on here. It can get really, really 
in depth and complicated. And that is why you want to simplify this, you know, keep it very simple. Like I have it here, you know, what would you like to know? Maybe location and hours, need our doctors, our services. Maybe, maybe they want uh, location hours, they click location hours. And the cool thing about this is we can have it say on meet our doctors, let's say they click it, we can have another slideshow like the one you saw right here about the different services. We can have different pictures of the doctors, the different bios if they want to read more information, but usually we keep it standard the way I've seen that it's being run if they click and it sends them to their website and you can have, you know, the bios, you know, usually on the about us or the meet the staff or whoever it is, right? And have all the bios in so you can get to normal products. But this is just pretty much to automate some of the incoming messages and you can always see when they say make an appointment, you can send them to your online scheduler, you can have it there, confirm a time, or you can do really very creative, but this is just interacting with your patient. And why this is very, very powerful for any business across different niches is that in marketing and sales and psychology, we want the average uh, person to, from person to new customer, new patient, takes about five to seven touch points for them to be open or prone to actually spend money with your business. So this is one touch point. If Sarah responds, that's the second touch point. When they call it the third touch point, they come in the fourth touch point. By the time you know it, email is a fifth touch point. So they have been contacted by your business in different ways. So when they actually come in, they're a local business, you have a you know very higher, higher, higher chance that they're actually become a patient or customer and you know and uh, keep doing business with you. So this is very, very powerful. And this could apply exactly to the salon example I gave earlier, where you can ask them, you know, what are you looking for? You know, different uh, you know, treatments uh, as far as the hair products or if it's a barber shop, which is very cool. You can have a little video of maybe the barber cutting someone's hair. It's like, hey, you want to make an appointment with me? And, or the dentist here, like, you know, performing and stuff. It's very, very creative. It can get really complex. If you like to see some of this stuff, uh, feel free to email me. It's in the bio and I can show you a couple more things. But that is what I wanted to show you here with MiniChat. It's very, very cool, very, very powerful. And if we jump back into the, the creator right here, so this is pretty much the basic flow editor. And we want to go to the flow builder. This is more like a, like a skeleton kind of deal where you can customize things. So this is just, like I said, it's an example one. I built it out as simple as possible for demonstrations of this video. You know, we can get very, very complex. Like I said, have all these different things, but just simplicity, purpose of the video, I want you to get an overall picture on why this is important, how this is powerful. Like Facebook said, they would rather do business with a, with a company or a business page that they can, you know, talk to first, communicate first. That is why it's very powerful to have one of these things. And here we go. See, so see, here's all the flow, everything we got going on. And all these little things you can be integrated to your, you know, your auto autoresponder, different email lists, etc. Right? You can even have when they want to make an appointment, have a call to action they can call right away. Different things you can do. This is just very, very, very cool. So, with that being said, this concludes this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Really appreciate if you like and comment and subscribe. If you found this very powerful and very helpful, and see how this can help your business. I appreciate it if you do. I'll be posting more videos on a regular basis. I've been a little bit offline lately, just working, you know, more inside the business. But I want to start giving you a little bit more valuable, and you know, see how we can help a lot of business owners across America and across the world with different things to keep them, keep that advantage, keep that competitive edge, and keep the head of track. As in dental industry or salons, etc., right? They're very competitive. You know, there you might nowadays see like this one in every corner. So if we can do different things to stand out and be able to. Uh, capture the market, you know, capture the local area and engage with them in a creative and really fun way like this. This is very, very cool and you know, I guarantee you have a lot more business than you can handle it. So you have any questions, like I said, feel free to email me. Um, you can also contact me if you'd like for me to help you set one of these up. And uh, if you maybe feel like you don't have time for it, I can definitely help you set one up for your business and kind of a little strategy behind it. Other than that, feel free to get a mini chat account, have no affiliation with them. I just promote them because they have a really, really nice company and they have a really cool product. So other than that, I'm Andres Murney. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. I appreciate it. All right, thanks, guys.